What's up, Elite NX Athletes? It's Chris Heria and Osvaldo Lugones. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to full planche. Open up the Thenex app to the full planche technique guide. Brand new technique guide that we've just released. Get it, download it right now in the video description below and let's get it started. All right, so we're about to learn how to full planche. So if you open up the Thenex app to the brand new full planche technique guide, the first thing that you're gonna see are the requirements. Now, it's super important that you can pass the requirements comfortably and safely before even beginning the first step of this technique guide. So if you need to see what the requirements are, just visit the app. So let's take a look at the intro. What's up, Elite Thenex athletes? Welcome to the Full Planche Technique Guide. Before you guys start doing the Full Planche Technique Guide, it's super important that you have passed the requirements comfortably and safely. This technique guide is gonna get you from no planche to full planche. We have broken it down into four parts. Part one, straight arm strength. In this part, we're gonna learn how to control our body weight with our straight arm strength. We're gonna learn how to keep our arms locked out so we can move on and advance into the planche. Part two, tuck planche. For this part, we're really gonna focus on the tuck planche technique. We're gonna harness this movement and make you guys perfect this move to get you to move on to the next level. Part three, straddle planche. Once you've mastered the tuck planche, now we get you to master the straddle. All the moves and progressions to getting you to fully lock out your arms in a complete, perfect straddle planche. Part four, the last part, full planche. Once you've mastered all the techniques along the way and you've used the workouts to help you get to this point, we finally teach you how to master the full planche. Completely arms full, locked out, beautiful planche, Thenex style, baby. So you ready to do this? Let's get started. But before we get started, let's warm up. All right, so we're gonna skip the warm up and we're gonna go right into it. As you can see, there's part one, introduction of full planche. The next part, we have a workout that's gonna supplement these movements that you're gonna learn. And then after that, we have part two, tuck planche progressions, all these steps here, the workout that's gonna supplement that to strengthen you to move on to the next step. And then part three, straddle planche progressions, all these steps, the straddle planche workout to complement the steps so you can apply them into your workout. And then part four, the last part, the full planche progressions. You're gonna learn all these progressions here. As you can see, there's five steps in this last one, and then you have the full planche workout. So there is a lot of knowledge. It's super packed with, broken down with every single move, how to do it exactly to the T. So this would take a super long video. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna show you every single step through every single progression, guys, really quick, okay? So the first move that we wanna do, if we open up into the first step of part one, it is straight, arm strength, and it is straight arm hold with dumbbells. Okay, so you wanna be able to do straight arm hold with dumbbells for a full 15 seconds before moving on to the next step. So Osvaldo's gonna show you what that looks like. So as you come up and you hold it, you wanna make sure to squeeze your hands, squeeze here by the forearm and you're gonna feel a lot of the pressure right here in the ditch of your elbow, right there. You wanna be able to build this movement right here for 15 seconds. And a comfortable uh, weight to hold, it really depends on the person and how much you weigh, but a comfortable weight to go by is about 15 pounds. When you can do that with 15 pounds, dumbbells, your hands, you're ready to move on to the next step. Step two, straight arm lateral raises with the dumbbells. All right, so you wanna be able to do that move 10 times with perfect form in order to move on to the next step. We're gonna show you what that looks like now. Osvaldo. Awesome. So as you can see, as he goes all the way up, he reaches the top and then comes all the way down. You can even pause right in the middle if you want. Feel that position and then come right back down. You wanna make sure that you're not swinging when you're doing this and you're doing it with thorough movement. You're feeling going up and you're feeling as well 
coming down. Squeeze that grip and make sure that you feel it in the ditch of your elbow. If your arm is even bent a little bit, you're not doing it right. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so part one, step three, we have straight arm flies with the dumbbells. All right, so you wanna be able to perform that move right there 10 times with perfect form in order to move on. So Osvaldo's gonna do that now. Let me move these for you. All right, so when you do this move, you wanna start by the waistline. Exactly, bring it all the way down. All the way down to the waistline and bring it right back up. You wanna make sure that when you're doing this move, you wanna keep your arms super locked out. If you protrude your scapulas forward, it's gonna to help to keep your arms more locked out. Squeeze these hands. And you wanna be able to do this for 10 times with perfect reps in order to move on to the next step. So all these moves in part one is basically strengthening your arms, that straight arm strength, so that you can start being able to do the rest of the progressions properly because every progression in the full planche, you're gonna need to do it with your arms straight. So if you're bending your arms at any moment in any of these, you need to stop and you need to focus on your straight arm strength. You need to come back to part one. So the last step in part one is straight arm press on the dip bar 10 times. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so straight arm press on dip bar. You wanna perform this one 10 times with perfect form to know that you're ready to move on to the next step. So by this time in these steps right here, you're applying the straight arm, you're figuring out how to keep your arms straight. So now we're finally gonna take it to the actual bar. So you saw what Osvaldo just did. He put the ditch of his elbow pointed out. As he did that, he pushed his shoulders forward and brought this part of his body up. Leaned a little bit as, as hard as he can and then come back down. When you guys are first starting to do this, you might barely be able to move. You know, a total beginner trying this for the first time that have been working on this may only come up a little bit, like halfway of where Osvaldo comes or even less than that, but that's okay because you don't want to sacrifice, especially when full planche, you don't want to sacrifice how high you go for your form. Because if you're going really high but you're bending your arms, it doesn't matter, you're never gonna get full planche. It's better to just come up a little bit as long as your arms remain straight because the bent arm strength does not translate over into straight arm strength. You have to be practicing with your arms completely, completely straight every single time. That is super important. All right, so you wanna be able to do that move right there that Osvaldo just showed 10 times with perfect form to move on. Now, when you move on, we're going into the straight arm strength workout. So if you click into here, we have a whole entire workout consisting of the moves that we just showed you and other moves as well on how to apply these moves into your workout regimen so you can start training your straight arms and eventually increasing that strength. And once you have done this workout for a while, for about a week, two weeks, you wanna step it up and move it into part two, which is the tuck planche progressions. So now we're going into part two and we're going to step one, planche, lean, hold. All right, so planche, lean, hold. You wanna perform this move here for 10 seconds with perfect form in order to move on to the next step. So let's follow those, show them what it looks like. Right here, as you can see guys, you wanna start remembering about all the techniques that we're showing you. Pushing those scapulas forward, making that ditch of the elbow come out, and then come forward, lean, lean. It's all about that lean. You wanna make sure that you're feeling it in your elbow. You wanna feel your lats coming out a little bit, and you wanna lean as far as you can, eventually having your hands by your waistline. If you can lean all the way out by your waistline, you wanna be able to hang right there for 10 seconds in order to move on to the next round. All right guys, to the next step. Okay, and if you guys still are having trouble and you can't fully grasp this move right here, like I said, we're moving really, really fast because we wanna get through all the steps, show you guys all the progressions. 
If you go on to the Fenix app and you go in right here where I am right now into the full punch technique guide, you can just click the video at the top and this is the actual video that breaks down this move and shows you in depth how to do this move. All right, so we're gonna keep moving on. So now we have of part two, we have step two and that's L sit, tuck L sit, tuck clench. All right, so you wanna do this move for three seconds in each position, and you wanna do it three times consecutively before coming off the bar. So, Osvaldo, let's show them what it looks like on these bars right here. So first we're gonna move into that L-sit. So we're going into this L-sit. When you're in this L-sit, it's more natural to have your shoulders in the right position. So now we're just gonna pull our, our legs in, and then that's gonna be easier to lean forward into that tuck clench. From there, three seconds, move back in, Tuck, L sit, move back out, L sit. That's one time. You want to be able to do this three times consecutively, keeping those arms locked during every position, transitioning through every position with perfect form in order to move on to the next step. Awesome. All right, so the next step. Step three of part two, we have tuck, planche, pumps. All right, so you want to be able to do this 10 times with perfect form to know that you're ready to move on to the next progression. So Osvaldo's going to show you what that looks like. Again, keep those shoulders forward, that arm straight, straight locked out, and you're pushing right here. You're trying to lift your hips up. Whatever you do, do not bend your arms when you're doing this. You want to lift by leaning forward, pressing like this with your body and your arms, your shoulders all connected, and lifting your hips up as you lean and level out. Okay, if you're bending your arms at any time doing this, it doesn't matter how high you go, you're never gonna get the form, you're never gonna get the technique. You're not actually training what you're supposed to be training for, which is pressing your body with your arms straight. So, if you need help on what the form looks like and how to do it specifically, just watch the top video. All right, so you wanna be able to do this for 10 times, the perfect form in order to move on. All right, so we're gonna watch the next one. Step four, tuck, clench, hold. Alright, so now we're ready for the tuck, planche, hold. Now this is like a fundamental element when learning how to do the full planche, just like the tuck front lever This for the front lever. This is a super, super important move. So right here, as you can see how to get into it, you want to make sure that you're already in position with your shoulders before moving forward. So as you lean forward and you push with your hands and your scapulas, your hips raise. So it's like doing the top of the previous progression, the tuck planche pumps, but instead of going all the way, you just go lean a little forward, go halfway, hold it. Squeeze your hands as hard as you can, and that's gonna solidify the movement a lot better. Don't forget to breathe. If, you can't, if you're not breathing while you're doing this, it's gonna be a lot harder, and it's gonna be harder to just go through this whole entire progression. So you wanna be able to naturally hold this move. Okay, you're not like stressing out. That's the whole point of being able to hold this move comfortably for 10 seconds in order to move on to the next round, all right? So now, that was part two, and that was getting up to the tuck planche progressions. Now we have the tuck planche workout. So you wanna use this workout right here and the previous workout to start strengthening your straight arms and start strengthening your tuck planche in order to move on to the next progressions easily and comfortably. So as you can see, these workouts right here consist of all the moves that we just now showed you and some other ones too to start training your tuck planche. All right, so now we're going on to part three, straddle planche progressions. Now things are really gonna get interesting. L-sit to straddle planche is the first step. So let's see what that looks like. All right, L-sit to straddle planche. This is one of the moves that got me learning straddle planche right away. Okay, so you wanna be able to do this move 10 times with perfect form in order to move on. Osvaldo's gonna show you how to correctly do it. You're gonna go straight into an L-sit first, and from that L-sit, you're gonna lean forward and straddle your legs. When you straddle those legs, point, point your toes really, really, really hard. That's gonna help you. Point that chin and look forward. That's gonna help you as well. 
At the beginning, you may not be able to go as smooth as he's going. As you can see, he's controlling the forward and he's controlling the going back. You might need to swing a little bit or maybe you'll start by swinging a little bit more. That's okay, because eventually the more you do it, as long as you're using proper technique and proper form, you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna be able to control yourself more. You're gonna be swinging less and less and less until you're doing it just like Osvaldo, completely controlling your body, all right? And even Osvaldo may sometimes, if you're doing this for like the fourth round, you're probably gonna swing a little bit. So it's okay, like that's gonna happen. Even me too, you know, that's totally normal as you get fatigued. As long as you're keeping the perfect form into this, you're keeping your arms locked out straight, the scapular position is in place. You know, when you're coming up, you're leveling out to that position and you're leaning forward. You're controlling that lean as you come back and you're controlling the transition as you go into that L sit. All right, so we're gonna go to the next step. Straight arm ring hold. All right, so now we have straight arm ring hold. Now things are really gonna get cool. So let's check this out. Let's go to the rings. When doing this move, it's pretty simple. You wanna hold the rings really close to your body and you wanna just point the ditch of your elbows out and point your hands out. And you wanna hold this move for 15 seconds, just like that. At the beginning, when you first started doing this, when I first started doing this, I was like shaking all over, especially trying to keep your arms straight and your shoulders in front like that. But over time, you will quickly strengthen this right here and you will just be holding like Osvaldo. You see no shaking, no movement at all. So you just wanna get used to holding your arms straight. This alone is again, an amazing element to not only obtaining the full planche, but keeping those arms straight because you're doing it on rings. When you do it on rings, it's not like the bars. Those bars are, they're structures. They're stuck there, right there. This, you have to use total stabilization. You have to use your core. You have to use your, your arms all to stabilize yourself simultaneously to be able to hold yourself in this position. So you wanna be able to hold yourself one more time. This position for 15 seconds with perfect form in order to move on comfortably. So right here and then point the arms just a little out to expose those elbows. Keep those shoulders in front and squeeze that hand, guys. All right, perfect. All right, so the next step we have is straight arm ring taps. All right, straight arm ring taps. You wanna be able to do five consecutively with perfect form to move on to the next progression. See what it looks like. When you're up right here, you wanna start with your arms already locked out straight. Squeeze your hands and point those shoulders forward. Bring the scapulas forward as you tap, come back into that position. Sca scapulas forward, tap, come back into this position. You wanna keep those arms straight, guys. Whatever you do, do not bend those arms and you're gonna master this move right here. All right, so. Next move, we have tuck planche hold on rings. And this is the last step for part three, which is the straddle planche progression. So right here, you wanna hold this move for 10 seconds with perfect form in order to move on. All right, so at this point, after training all these other moves, after training all the progressions from part three, you should have developed really strong, not only tuck planche, but really strong straight arm strength, especially after you added the rings. So now we're gonna go into a tuck planche hold on the rings. So you wanna hold this move right here for 10 seconds with perfect form to go on to the next progression. As you can see, you wanna lean now, lean, squeeze those hands, squeeze those hands, it's gonna be easier to hold this. At first, you're gonna feel like you're not gonna be able to bring those hips as high, but the more you lean and the more you train this move, you're eventually gonna be able to bring your hips a lot higher. All right, so that was the last step of part three. Now we have the planche workout part three. So this workout right here you wanna do, and all the workouts prior to be able to master part four, the full planche progressions. So let's move on to it. The first step, is L sit to full planche. Let's take a look at what this move looks like. All right, so we have to do this move eight times with perfect form to move on to the next progression. 
All right, so you wanna be able to do this move eight times with perfect form consecutively. Let's see what it looks like. Start in an L sit, already locked out. Keep those shoulders forward. Locked out L and just lean forward. That's basically the trick of this move right here. Squeeze those hands, make sure your scapulas are in the right position. And as you lean forward, you're pushing down on your palms and you're bringing those hips up. Don't bring up by the foot, cause then you're gonna banana it. You're gonna have an arch basically. To in keep that straight line, you wanna come up by the hip line. Also, when you're doing this, you may feel yourself pause at that moment of that full planche. Try to squeeze and just hold it. Squeeze and then come back down. Come up, squeeze, and come back down. Osvaldo is very skilled. As you can see, he's controlling the way he's coming up and he's controlling the way he comes down. At the beginning, when you guys are first doing this, it might be very difficult. You might feel like you're swinging just a little bit. That's okay, just keep doing it with perfect form and you're gonna build that strength, be able to do it slower and slower. All right, so we're gonna move in to the next move. The next step is full planche, lean hold, 15 seconds. All right, so now we have the full planche lean hold. We're gonna do it on the dip bars. You wanna be able to hold this move, Osvaldo's gonna show you for 15 seconds in order to move on to the next progression. So squeeze those hands, keep those shoulders forward, and now it's all about leaning, leaning, leaning. Try to go up based on your lean and the pressure that you put within your palms right there. Make sure you're feeling it in the ditch of your elbow. You wanna hold this move here for 15 seconds comfortably to move on to the next progression. Excellent, man. That's impressive. All right, so now we have step three, full planche pumps, 10 times. All right, full planche pumps, 10 times with perfect form to move on to the next progression. You see what it looks like? So right here, it's okay to get a little tiny swing and press with your hands. Swing, press with your hands. Now you can control. Now as you come up and down, control that movement. When you come up and press, hold those hips up nice and leveled. If you guys don't know if you're leveled 90 degrees or not, record yourself. Take out your cell phones and start filming yourself. That's also a good way to start focusing on your form and perfecting your form. A lot of times, one of the things is that you just don't know what you look like when you're doing it. If you knew, oh, you know, my hips are a little too high right here, I need to bring them down that would automatically perfect your form and get you closer to doing the full plan. So you wanna be able to do this move right here 10 times with perfect form in order to move on to the next progression. All right, and the next progression is full planche lean raises. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so there we have it, full planche lean raises. Here we're gonna do it on the parallettes. You can also do it on the floor if you want to. So at this point, you should have a really good strong lean, a really tight grip. Keep those shoulders forward. Nice, so when you lean into it, don't kick up into it. As you can see, Osvaldo just leaned forward and then he lift his lower body from there. Excellent, Osvaldo, perfect. So you don't want to kick into this move. You want to lean enough and then press with your hands until your body picks up into the full planche position and then you just come back down. You want to be able to perform this move right here 10 times with perfect form in order to move on to the next progression. If you're still having trouble doing this move, because I know this is a really difficult move, you can always take out a resistance band. So you can always use a resistance band if you still can't yet pick that body up or if you're on your second round, third round and you're too fatigued to pick your body up. So go for it. This is gonna help. You'll be able to also do a lot more reps like this as well. Remember to keep those arms straight, keep those hips aligned and keep your body straight. Excellent Oswaldo. Perfect. All right, so now we're moving on to the last step. We have full planche hold, max. So there's different places to do it and we teach you the different places to do it on the floor, on the parallettes, on the dip bars. But we're gonna show you right now on the dip bars. All 
All right, so that's what it should look like on the dip bars. Let's see what it should look like on the parallettes. All right, so there you have it, the full planche hold. You wanna hold this as long as you can, basically. But if you have it for three to five seconds, I'd say that's a pretty solid full planche. Just really work on it. You, it doesn't hurt to have it for 10 seconds, right? So you wanna be able to do this move perfectly as long as you can to master this. And after this, we have the workout routine. But before we check that out, Osvaldo, let's show him how to do the full planche. So after training all these moves and using all the workouts, you should have accumulated the strength to be able to lean forward, lift those hips, and boom. Perfect planche. And that's how you do the planche. So it doesn't stop there. We have one last workout, the full planche workout. Click into here, and all these exercises are the exercises we just showed you, plus some more that's gonna integrate into your training. It's a training routine that you do to strengthen that full planche hold. All right, guys? So this is the full planche technique guide. We just ran you through it. I'm sorry it was so quick, but to get the full in-depth view, watch exactly every single move broken down, download the Thenix app, and check out the full planche technique guide right now. It's super simple to go from step to step, and you guys will be doing full planche correctly, the Thenex way, the real way, in no time. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, share it with all your friends. I know there's so many people out there trying to learn the full planche. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, guys, peace out.